What's up y'all, Jeff Anderson here, Florida Fishing Products, and today we're going to talk about catching redfish using live shrimp. Live shrimp is one of the most effective live baits and baits out there for inshore fish, especially redfish. Uh, shrimp provides a great source of protein for uh, minimal effort. So for redfish, that's why that shrimp is one of the most effective uh, baits out there and one of their most preferred um, food sources is shrimp, live shrimp. So today we're going to talk about my favorite rigs that I like to use for catching these redfish with live shrimp and in this video we're also going to talk about some tactics for catching redfish. Okay so the most popular uh, rig for catching redfish using shrimp is going to be popping cork. Everybody's favorite, we all know it, popping cork. If you don't know it, then you're probably just getting into fishing, which is great. And if you are just getting into fishing, use a popping cork. And if you're not, and you don't have a popping cork, then do yourself a favor and go get a popping cork, tie one on. So we've got a popping cork right here. You want your plastic beads on top, brass beads on the bottom, or your leader line side to your hook. So for your leader line, you're gonna use anywhere from about a foot and a half to three feet and i like to use anywhere from 10 to 20 pound test um, for catching redfish any big redfish over 35 inches 40 inches you want to use 30 35 pound test leader line when i'm just going out and i'm catching uh, your slot size or normal size redfish anything up to 30 to 35 inches i'm going to be using 10 to 20 pound leader line like i said about a foot and a half to three feet and so i have a two lot uh, hook on here and I'm gonna show y'all some footage of us uh, rigging and catching fish using a popping cork with live shrimp. Let's go ahead we're gonna cut to that. I'll see you back here in a second. Okay and we'll just switch that guy out with this one and I'll just pitch that in there and I bet it's sick. Alright y'all this is what we're gonna throw out here so we've got a shrimp on a little bit of larger shrimp and popping cork. Uh, oh, Jeff's on. Fish on. Nice back there. He's running me into the into the logs. Get out of there. So there it is, beautiful red fish. Okay, so another really popular rig for catching red fish on live shrimp is going to be just a jig head. Now, when using a jig head, I'm going to show you guys right now some footage of how I like to rig a jig head, and that's I like to take off the tail. As you can see here in this footage, and um, it's almost rigged backwards. Okay, so that's one of the most effective ways to rig live shrimp. And for using a jig head, this allows you to work that live shrimp pretty much like you would if you're fishing artificials. So you're getting like the best of both worlds. You're getting the benefit of having more scent with the live bait that is going to increase your chances of catching a redfish. But then you also, with the jig head, are able to work it like an artificial. So it's going to be sometimes more of a fun bite uh, because you're not just sitting there holding your rod and waiting for a fish to bite it. Now, going back to a popping cork. With a popping cork, you can do two things. If, let's say you're going out with friends, family, taking your kids out, cast out your popping cork, use it like a bobber. You can also just pop your popping cork and use it just like an artificial lure as well. The only thing to consider with live shrimp, A, you're gonna get a lot more what we like to call tail biters or just smaller fish that are gonna steal your bait. You're gonna get that either way. But when you're casting it out, especially the popping cork, you don't want your pops to be too aggressive. You wanna have more light pops. You can do more aggressive pops when you're fishing artificial lures because your artificial lure is gonna stay on your hook a lot easier. So when you're fishing live shrimp, sometimes that shrimp, you know, it's not gonna hold on your jig head as good as it would be for an artificial lure. So you don't need, when you're fishing a popping cork, you don't need aggressive pops. It's just gonna be small pops that is going to, you know, have that combination of the noise that your cork is gonna create and also the scent that your live shrimp's gonna put out. It's a deadly combination. So going back to a popping cork, popping cork is super effective. Now, when you're using a jig head, 
same thing like you would if you're you know using artificials and if you don't use artificials you're just getting the fishing totally fine you can cast it out let it sink to the bottom and then you can just give it small pops as you're reeling it back in you want to fish it slow but you also want to make sure that when you're using a jig head that you're somewhat aware of what's below you so if you can see and you know that there's oysters below you you know it's shallow then I'm gonna use a popping cork. But if I know it's a little deeper, I've got a sandy bottom, fishing off the beach maybe, fishing off of a pier, or I'm fishing off of a dock, like a deep water dock, then a jig head is gonna be ideal for that, for a live shrimp. Some of the more popular ways to rig a live shrimp, we're gonna show you guys that right now, and then I'll see you guys back here. All right, y'all, live shrimp is what we're gonna be using today. So I've got a 1 8 ounce jig head, and we're just gonna hook this right behind the brain and the brain is that little black dot right there okay so another rig that's really popular for live shrimp is just going to be a fish finder rig now this is going to be excellent for live shrimp you're not going to really be able to work this through the water column you can but if you really want to fish it like an artificial then you're going to use a jig head but if you're fishing like a deep water dock you're fishing 10 15 feet of water then that's where this fish finder rig is going to be ideal for live shrimp. And you don't need a jig head with this. You don't even need a jig head with a popping cord. So you can use a two aught hook right here. So you do not need a jig head. You can just use a normal like one two aught hook. So what this rig allows is your bait to sit on the bottom, but for it to be suspended about four or five inches or so off of the bottom because You've got your weights keeping on the bottom and you're gonna have about a foot and a half to two feet of leader line that's gonna keep your bait just off that, right in the strike zone. So for catching redfish using live shrimp, you know, you just wanna be aware of where you're fishing. Um, you know, if you're fishing over an oyster reef, you're fishing shallow water, use a popping cork, deep water docks, use a fish finder rig. You really can't go wrong with live shrimp. It's one of the most effective ways to catch any inshore fish, especially redfish. We're gonna have a lot more tutorials coming out about where exactly that you all can locate redfish and how to locate redfish. But if you guys are on the beach, you're in your bay, your creeks, anywhere, if there's redfish around, you have one of these rigs tied on, you've got live shrimp tied on, you're gonna catch a redfish. So that's all we got for today. Thanks for watching and peace out.